Hi folks, in two weeks time I'm going to present at the National Sustainability Summit here in Dublin and I decided to share with you some of the thoughts on how sustainability is becoming the new chapter for competitive advantage. <laughs> Okay, let's get started with the concept of corporate social responsibility that basically is the way in which many corporations frame sustainability today. CSR suffers of three main limitations. First of all, is that focuses more on reducing the negative impact that business bring into society rather than exploring new possibility for value creation. Second, is quite cosmetic. Many organizations, when applying corporate social responsibility, use it more as a marketing tool in order to look good rather than something that actually strengthens the competitive advantage of an organization. And lastly, it seems that there is no real benefit for a company to apply CSR, but is something that has to be done. In other words, it's something that is comparable to social media. You can't be a large established organization and not having those best practices in place. Even those companies that excel at implementing a corporate social responsibility agenda suffer of what they name incremental innovation. Incremental innovation differs from disrupting innovation and if you want to learn more about it, please find a link to a video in the description below. A company that is incrementally innovating is acquiring the latest best practices that are emerging in its industry and by doing so is able to reduce the level of emission, waste and consumption that is generating for society. But we need to be extra careful here because when a company is becoming more efficient, is also becoming greener. But that doesn't mean that the company is also able to sustain its competitive advantage. In other words, becoming more efficient is not the same as becoming more strategically sustainable. And the reason for that is very simple. While a company is getting greener, is getting more sustainable by adopting the latest best practices, well, its very competitors can do exactly the same. Therefore, competitive advantage becomes a matter of time. Who is the first in the industry adopting those best practices? Therefore, you see, there is a necessity to move from conventional corporate social responsibility to something which I name strategic sustainability. There are two aspects when we speak about strategic sustainability. One is internal to the company and ask the question, what are those activities that the company need to perform in order to create value for the final user? And one is more external and relates to design or design thinking and ask the question, who is the customer and what kind of problems are we trying to solve for that customer? So let's get started with the first, the internal view of the company. In here, we need to understand what are the activities that the company performs in order to create value for the final user. And in my website, stefanomessori.com, you can find a value chain template that can assist you in that. And after having done that, what is interesting is defining what are those activities that have the most societal impact. Each activities that the company perform can impact society in a positive way, but also in a negative way. And what we are trying to do here is try to understand how it is possible to reduce a negative impact, for example, pollution by acquiring a new technology, but also how is possible to foster a positive impact to society, for example, creating new employment or creating wealth. The second aspect of strategic sustainability comes in the form of design, or what we call in the recently design thinking. Design relates to the way that we think about our customers and their needs. What we are trying to do with design is try to spot a set of new opportunities for value creation, either by identifying 
unmet customer needs or even better unarticulated customer needs that are a set of needs that even our customer is not able to tell us about. We can use design or design thinking in order to uncover unmet customer needs of our current set of customer. But even more interestingly, we can use design in order to spot emerging set of customers that obviously we are not currently serving. But let me give you an example that explains this. If we consider conventional banking, well, conventional banking always try to satisfy the need of rich people, either by managing their savings or offering a loan to people that had enough assets to cover the loan. And then one day we came up with the concept of microfinancing that basically is offering microloans to starting entrepreneurs that were turned down by the conventional banking system. And now we can see how design, the second aspect of strategic sustainability, enables us to become creative. It switches our creativity on. And the example of the banking system, well, design enables us to see a customer in a new way. From the old way of framing the customers as a rich person asking us to manage their savings to a new type of customers that requires us to look at it in a dynamic perspective. This customer that is being turned down by conventional banking system need to be looked at in a dynamic perspective. The customer will be able to pay his micro loan back with the saving that is creating by his business. In closing this video, let me explain the main differences between corporate social responsibility and strategic sustainability. CSR focuses more on reducing the negative impacts that business bring into society rather than try to spot new opportunities for value creation. Second is Cosmetic, is a big marketing campaign that a company is developing in order to look good in the eye of society. And third, it seems to me that many companies are not able to measure or to perceive the benefit of implementing a corporate social responsibility agenda, but they are doing that because it has to be done. There are two aspects of strategic sustainability. First one is internal and enables us to look at the activities that we perform in order to create value for our customers and identify the most important or salient touching point for society. And what we are trying to do that is to amplify the positive touching points and reducing the negative touching points. The second aspect of strategic sustainability is more external and enables us to use creativity in order to understanding either new possibility for value creation of our current customers or identify new set of customers that we can serve. In closing this video, let me say that corporate social responsibility is a good practice and my wish is that more companies add better CSR agenda. But when we want to align the sustainability of our organization in order to be green and sustainable for the environment with the sustainability of the competitive advantage of our organization, we need to embrace strategic sustainability, looking at the way that we are impacting society and find new way to amplify the benefit and minimize the negative. And also looking strategically at our value proposition, who is the customer that we are serving and how can we serve customers that have been ignored by conventional businesses?